Um, we're going to build the neck brace for the pyramid head costume. Uh, so my main idea is I've got a piece of foam, um, you know, stuff. It's the stuff that you you put down on the floor in your kids' room or you can buy to uh, put outside or in the beach, or whatever. It's the sort of stuff uh, you can get it at uh, hardware stores, uh, flooring shops, etc. Uh, the main idea is with this foam, I'm going to draw out the neck brace um, with just a pen on it. And once I've drawn it out, cut it out, and spray it up in some sort of uh, polyurethane, uh, and therefore I can then spray on top of it uh, the rusty coloured paintwork. Now, here's the, uh, the quick outline of it. I'm going to cut it out now, but I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger, so not around the lines yet, just so I can bend it into shape, have a look if it's right, and see if I can... You can always cut bits off, but you can never add things on. Down the back of uh, Pyramid Head, he has two brackets that go down his back. So this is the front of it, and this is the back of it. And the idea is I wear that over my shoulder. And there's two pieces that come down here, and down here, and they've got two bolts on the back. And then the helmet comes in here, the neck protector, and then the rest of it up the top. So, uh, I've never worked with foam before, it's really good. I had loads of stuff left over from my baby's floor. So, main idea is that's going to go there, another one there, another one there, then another one there, and then I use some more foam to cover in the gaps. And uh, let's see how this is looking. So. go back front uh, this is going to be a lot longer at the front here this piece and these ones will be shorter they just want to know where they were they're the clamps that hook onto the skin there's a little clamp on the back here that I think uh, would look really good because it's it's so hidden in the film you can hardly see it. The clamp there and the clamp there. Right, so now I need to um, basically bend it over my shoulders. Um, I was thinking of getting some aluminium um, to put inside, and then I was thinking it might hurt. I found this um, this stretchy, cable-y stuff, which is um, from the pound shop. It's for tying up cables and things in your garage. And I've got a piece of that. I'm just going to glue it in, hot glue it in, and see if it works or not. If it doesn't, I'll go back to my other idea. But as I said, it's all trial and error this, so let's glue it in and see what happens.
So there you go, I've glued in the um, bendy wire foam on, let that dry, once it's dried uh, we'll see how it fits, then spray it up in an undercoat and uh, see how things go from there. Great drying outside. It's not looking too bad. There we go. Just the back of it. it. Looks like it will fit quite well now. What I'm doing here is I've got uh, two more of these little bolts from the plumbing shop. Uh, they're great little things, just little bolts. And uh, what I'm doing is on the uh, the back here. There's these two bars that go down his back. The top piece is metal; it's clamped on. And then these bars, the bolts go just below the metal frame of the neck brace, as if these are bolted through into his skin. So. Yeah, there's one there, and there's one there, and I accidentally noticed this when I was gluing it, I glued it, and um, when I sprayed it up it looks like welding, so I might actually go over and deliberately make some of this bigger, do some welding, and then uh, um, I'll look at the film a bit more and try and work out what kind of details on here, but I mean you're not really going to see this neck brace, because the, the helmet comes down over most of it. It's just this extra little bit. I think we're putting netting above here, up into the helmet on clippers, um, so from the side angles there's no way of seeing any of my neck whatsoever. There you go. So yeah, I've just cut this hole. It should just pop out now, like that. There you go. And then um, what I'll do is just pop that through, and it's all done except for the uh, the blackening up of it, darken it down with a little bit of black paint. So what I've done here is um, I've added more glue around the big joints here and here. It looks a bit messy at the moment because uh, it's all sort of white and warm as it were. But once that's dried, um, what's going to happen is uh, when I spray it over, uh, it should hopefully look like welding, which would be cool. It'll cover up any imperfections as well. Um, also, I was trying to work out how to clip this thing together. Now, when I was making it, I was using these two crocodile clips. Uh, and I've been sp I spent 20, 30 minutes going through my box of parts, trying to work out ways of putting the panel on and that. And then it just hit me. Um, leave the crocodile clips and just spray them. So I'm going to spray paint this in a minute and I'll leave those crocodile clips so they should hopefully sort of disappear into it um, and if anyone spots them they'll just look like parts of the clamp so fingers crossed it's going to look cool. Now what I've done is this is pretty cool okay so some more glue uh, once again once it's sprayed up orange or red shall we say and then uh, I um, get the black paints on, they should look like little lines going towards the little hooks. Now these little hooks are just, you know those things that hold up your curtains? I've just glued them in and they look like little hooks which clamp onto the skin so that's going to be cool. So once it's dried I'm going to spray it, get some black paint on it and then I'm going to call it it because you can't see the thing under my helmet anyway. <laughs> 
Um, so um, I think I'm just uh, well, I'm just doing stuff that I don't need to do. I need to work on the great knife, really. So there you go. The idea is that will go on like that, these little hooks will bend everything down so it's more to the skin. This is the first time trying it on, I'm on my own so it's a bit hard. And around the back. The back will pull together, but I'll work out a way of clipping it. 